In this video, we're going to run you through a startup of BABFAR DFBG series liquid propane heater. First, you're going to expose the two lift-up panels which are the electrical and gas manifold. Next, you'll need to check the rotation of the blower. You'll need to turn the disconnect switch to the on position. There are two switches. We have a blower switch and a burner switch. You're going to momentarily turn the blower switch to the on position. After a moment, shut it off and go to the blower end of the heater to check the direction of the blower. You should see the shaft is rotating in the same direction as the arrow. If you can't see through the small hole, you can lift the blower cover up and visually inspect the rotation of the blower wheel. You want to verify it's rotating in the same direction as the fan arrow. Next, we're going to go over the location of the resets on this heater. Once you open the inner electrical panel, inside you will find the fire eye burner reset. There is also a motor overload reset. And we also have two high limit resets that are located on the frame and blower of the heater. The first high limit reset is underneath this little birdhouse box. You'll see a small thermal disc with red reset button center of it. If it is tripped, you push it. You should feel some resistance. The last reset is inside the birdhouse on the blower. Push your finger into the center of it to activate the reset. It will click if it's tripped, and you should be good to go. Next, you're going to slowly turn the propane valve on. Please note, this is a liquid propane tank, and you are running tank pressure directly to the heater. Be mindful that there are no regulators from the tank to the heater. Turn the propane tank to the on position. You want to open it very slowly so you don't slug the propane tank and prevent fuel from entering the heater. With the propane tank valve in the on position, you now need to go over to the burner and blower switch. We'll first turn on our blower switch and then turn on our burner switch second. Please note, they must be turned on in that order, blower, then burner. After a seven second delay, you will see the pressure bump up a small amount and you can verify there is a flame on the burner end of the heater. After about 10 seconds of pilot, it will go on to main flame. And from that point on, the heater will cycle with whatever discharge temperature you set the unit at. To turn up the heater, we will press the set button once. Once it displays SP, you will need to press the set button again. You can now adjust the temperature to the desired setting using the arrow keys. In this tutorial, we are going to up the temperature to 225 degrees discharge. When you have established your desired temperature, press the set button again and the unit will lock in your selection. If you hit the down arrow and the set button at the same time, the unit will display the current temperature once again. Otherwise, it will time out after one minute. The heater may have this style control if not equipped with an E-control. The discharge temperature control allows you to set what's coming out of the heater and can be set between 100 and 225 degrees. From the factory, the discharge temperature control is set at 225 degrees. If you desire a lower temperature, just turn the knob to your desired temperature. On this dial, there are three sliding adjustable tabs, but only the tab to the farthest right is an active control for this heater. To adjust it, you need to hold the dial and slide the tab to the desired temperature. To adjust the temperature, you need to remove the cover and turn the dial to the desired temperature. Replace the cover after making your selection. You can verify the pressure is fluctuating, which is the way it should be. 
You may notice that frost is starting to build up on the gas manifold, starting at our high pressure regulator and low pressure regulator. This is normal operation, as any amount of exterior moisture is going to stick to the pipe and build up in the form of frost. This frost will continue all the way up to the top of our burner guns. Again, this is nothing to be alarmed over and is normal operation. Please do not put any heat on the frosted gas manifold as you could cause damage to the heating unit. This has been a startup tutorial of the Babfar DFBG series liquid propane heater. If you have any additional questions, you can reach our technical support.